killer. What's going on guys, it's Gamer here, bringing you another review on Dragon Ball Super Episode 103 titled Gohan Beat Ruthless Showdown with Universe 10. The episode overall, I would say, I'm just going to go ahead and say it in the beginning of the video, was pre uh, pretty good actually. I really like this episode, uh, not, not because it's a Gohan uh, specific episode, because it doesn't actually really get that specific on Gohan until around maybe towards the, the second half of the episode. Uh, after, you know, like a commercial break or whatever. But uh, the beginning of the episode actually starts off with uh, Ri Rian, uh, where it cut off in last week's episode, where uh, she had witnessed uh, Kakunsa, one of the three trio of Universe 2 of the Maidens, got knocked out of the arena and starts going after 17. And what I really liked in the beginning was, uh, of course, she's uh, very mad that her friend had gotten knock knocked off of the arena. And she calls Seventeen like uh, she uh, she start he, she starts saying that like he's evil or whatever, and he actually goes along with it and toys around uh, with her. He, he call uh, she calls him the Warrior of Darkness, and he's like, oh, so I'm evil, huh? And so they go at, at each other, and then of course um, I forget what the other girl's name is. I I don't remember. I apologize for not remembering. But meanwhile, the other girl is fighting Goku. And then, of course, like Goku has been doing in the last few episodes, he is letting his guard down. Uh, he's showing that he's struggling a little bit for some reason. And then, yeah, even though, uh, you know, this is Goku, he could have easily knocked her out. But no, he's just like, no, nah, I'm going to let my guard down and see what happens. Just let things play out. Uh, sk skip over a little bit. Rebrian and Android 817 are still going at each other. Uh, of course, Goku gets trapped up in uh, a Hell Zone grenade-esque kind of attack towards him. Uh, 17 rushes over to Goku and actually activates his barrier to basically stop the attack. Uh, Rebrian uh, starts going back at it at 17, uh, and then Goku actually um, goes at full uh, a full attack mode at the other girl. Uh, and almost knocks her off of the arena. And when I say almost, I mean literally almost. From a distance, it looked like she was about to fall off, but no, they decided to, you know, kind of keep her there. I don't know why, he just did. Uh, Rebrian shows up and try to help out her friend, and then uh, Seventeen and Goku are actually about to, are basically saying, uh, just, it might as well just save us some time if you just jump off. And in the, the Universe 2's uh, Yardradian actually shows up and uses the instantaneous movement or uh, instant transmission uh, in the dub and uh, safely moves them off somewhere on the arena and then it's kind of just whatever. And then we get, uh, we get a shot of the duo Gohan and Piccolo and they meet up with Baltamo. Uh, uh, Champa was like, you should be worrying about the uh, the others, and then I'm just like, oh, it's Botamo, right? I I know about the leaks. Yeah, I, I heard that this is gonna happen, and uh, th I could have done without this, but I guess it was like okay, um, it, whatever. It didn't really bother me, but uh, Gohan starts going at a Botamo like Goku had did in the past, and obviously it's not working because Botamo can actually nullify attacks. And forgive me if I'm remembering incorrectly, or I, I'm just wrong about something, but uh, now, not only uh, is Botamo able to nullify just physical hits, but couldn't he nullify uh, key attacks as well? Because uh, Gohan starts going at Botamo with rapid uh, successful hits uh, each and every time, to the point where it actually lifts him up just barely where he's off the ground, and then he starts pushing Botama towards uh, the edge of the arena and then he gets he gives him a nice hard kick to the gut and then shoots off a Kamehameha towards Botama to knock him off. Uh, Botama actually shoots off a key blast at, uh, before he falls off at Gohan and then Gohan like the badass he was just turns around and blocks the attack and that's the reason why I feel like uh, I'm forgetting something or whatever because I feel like uh, Botamo not only can nullify physical hits, but also key attacks as well. 
I uh, sadly just don't remember if that was the case or not. Let me know in the comments if I'm just not correct with my memory. But uh, we didn't get another shot of two warriors from Universe 10 finally, and one, uh, one of them issues a challenge with Gohan, and the other issues a challenge uh, with Piccolo. One of them is uh, Rubalt, and the other one, the green dude, I don't remember his name for some reason, I, I apologize. Uh, but he uh, he issues a challenge to Gohan, and then yeah, they get a chance to uh, he gets a chance to fight Gohan, and it was a very interesting fight. And overall, uh, his name's Ubuni or Obuni, I think that's what his name is. I'm gonna try to remember his name. I, I I'm I'm gonna try. <laughs> uh, but Obuni issues a challenge to uh, a Gohan. Rubalt is fighting Piccolo, uh, and before actually we get to see those two fight each other. Uh, Universe 2's uh, Yardra actually knocks off uh, another Universe 10 fighter, uh, uh, Jill Cole, I believe that's what his name is. Uh, he knocks him off of the arena, and then we just have two warriors left in Universe 10, so this is basically their last stand, their last chance of actually survi uh, of actual survival, you know? So, uh, Rubal goes after Piccolo, Albany goes after Gohan, and we get some really good choreography for the fighting, I would say. Uh, Obony uh, does a technique where he actually shifts his internal energy, his key, to um, make it seem like uh, they're uh, kind of physical f forms of different bodies of himself are surrounding him, but in each of those bodies, they actually he's actually separated his energy to you know confuse his foes of kind of not being able to read his movements. So because of this, Gohan is struggling a little bit against this guy. And he goes ahead and takes a, a punch towards Obony, but it obviously doesn't hit. And Obony is actually getting some really solid hits at Gohan, and he's actually struggling a little bit. We go back to Ru uh, Rubalt and uh, Piccolo, and then we actually get um, a throwback to an old attack that was shown back in Z against Android 17. And Piccolo actually uses his Hellzone grenade on, on Rubalt and knocks him off of the arena. And I, I can always enjoy a Hellzone grenade every here and there, even if they're just imitations of it. But the actual real thing, I can always appreciate it, of course. And so we're getting shots of, you know, uh, Universe 10, uh, Gowasu, and God Destruction, of course. And, you know, they're kind of just clinging on to life as Albany is trying to, you know, basically save the universe at this point. Uh, Gohan starts getting, you know, kind of pissed off a little bit, powers up, uh, his, he's in his ultimate form, Bang is out, so yes, he's in his ultimate form, and at this point he starts actually, uh, taking actual hits to, you know, kind of punch him, yeah, uh, he kicks him a couple of times, he punches him, punches him a, a couple of times, uh, gets some solid hits on him, and because of the technique that Albany is actually using, it's, it's actually wasting a lot of uh, his own key, his energy, to be able to, you know, sustain the technique. And Weiss actually uh, says that it's uh, a secret technique uh, that you can use with your energy. I don't recall ever in a series of anyone using some kind of form of technique like this. Uh, there might be, I don't, I just don't remember. But when we said this is some kind of secret technique, I was you know, interested. I wanted to see maybe a little bit more of it. So, Obony is losing a lot of energy. Gohan uh, knocks him out, and then we actually see uh, a locket, a locket fall off of Obony, and uh, because Obony, of course, got knocked off of the arena, uh, there goes Universe 10. Universe 10 then gets erased, and um, I, I feel like a lot of people are actually like almost upset at the fact that Universe 10 get, did get eliminated. It's the second universe to get eliminated. It was uh, the first one being Universe 9 and then, and then it was Universe 10. And, um, you know, from what we experienced with Gowasu in the past in the Goku Black arc, uh, you know, it was almost kind of upsetting to see Universe 10 be the second universe of the entire tournament just get, get erased just like that without basically even a struggle, you know. So Universe 10 gets erased. Uh, but before they actually get erased, Gohan notices a locket on the ground from Obony, and inside the locket was a picture of Obony's uh, family, his uh, wife and, and kid. And then immediately, uh, not only just Gohan, but the audience uh, feels uh, the tension of not only of just the universe being erased, but of Gohan, you know, kind of 
having the feeling of knowing of some sort of guilt because not only did he, you know, basically assist in killing off an entire, you know, universe, he hadn't, you know, realized that Obani was not only fighting for the universe but for his family. And Gohan can can relate a lot to this because he has a very solid connection uh, towards his family with Fidel and Pan. And so he does feel some sort of guilt uh, by this happening. And something that I noticed, uh, I heard a lot of theories that the Daishinkan might actually turn against Zeno with a, uh, a couple of the angels maybe. Uh, or most of the angels, uh, maybe not Whis, but most of them. But what we did notice is that um, uh, the Universe 10 angel, uh, Kus, Kus, I don't, uh, I, don't, I don't really remember how to pronounce her name. But she actually looks uh, vis visibly upset that her universe had basically got gotten erased. Uh, the Universe 9 Angel, of course, I don't remember his name, I apologize. Uh, he seemed to not really like his God of Destruction and Supreme Kai, so he, he was just kind of like whatever about it. But the Universe 10 Angel, uh, Kus, I'm going to call her that, I guess, she seemed very, very visibly upset, and so it kind of shows that if super does go that route with the Daishinkan maybe maybe all the angels won't actually side with the Daishinkan and they might actually be uh, with Zeno and not against them but of course uh, you know it, it, it didn't have to you know kind of throw it over our head smack us in the back of the head to kind of show us that yeah there are repercussions but we already knew that from the beginning and especially after Universe 9 had been erased and I love how they did the finale or the ending of the episode. It was done very, very good. It was written very, 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 very good. You know, the whole episode was, you know, very solid. It was a very solid episode. I enjoyed it, not only just because it's Gohan, but just because uh, most of the time it had really good animation. Maybe besides maybe uh, a couple, a uh, couple shots, but other than that, it was whatever. Uh, there was a little bit of reused animation, but I didn't really mind it too much. Uh, there are now 11 minutes has passed within uh, the whole tournament and we're just gonna have to see what happens next uh, the next episode we're gonna see hit fight one of the pride troopers uh, of universe 11 and from what I've heard in the latest leaks Super Saiyan God is coming back to the series so I'm excited for those of you who don't know uh, Super Saiyan God is potentially my favorite transformation of any of the Super Saiyan forms just because uh, God, it's red. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here. This is a very solid episode. I enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, I would suggest you guys go and watch it. Uh, last week's episode, you know, I didn't mind it. I thought it was okay, especially with all the all the the stuff that happened in the beginning of the episode. Of course, not a lot of people liked it. I understood why they didn't like it, but whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please be. Please consider subscribing to the channel for future content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out.